In a plastic bottle, mix one liquid with another until you have about 10 ounces. Then, detonate. Do you think, looking at that blast, that would be enough to bring down an airplane? I won't speculate. But the Transportation Security Administration needs that answer. It's critical to know exactly what it is that could destroy a plane, because then you can target your, your detection measures to meet that threat. After the explosion of Pan Am 103 over Lockerbie, Scotland, testing was done on real aircraft with conventional explosives. CNN was given an exclusive look at new testing ordered by the TSA after terrorists in London demonstrated their intent to use homemade liquid explosives to blow up planes in 2006. You have the window frame here. Scientists at the Sandia, Los Alamos and Livermore National Labs have secretly worked on it for more than a year. Results expected this fall could impact how much liquid travelers can carry on planes and how screening is done. This is going to help TSA uh, define what the requirements are for explosive detection for the checkpoint and for check baggage and for air cargo. Materials from an old Boeing 737 have been stressed to the breaking point. We want to understand how it fails and at what load level it fails. That information is being used to create a computer model which shows not only how a plane is built, but how it will behave. Pressure data from different explosive tests are added. Homemade liquid explosives, homemade powdered explosives, gels, just about anything that the terrorists might consider. The model is helping scientists determine what damage different explosives will do, placed differently in different aircraft at different altitudes, what it will take to bring a plane out of the sky. The data being collected could be used to design a stronger aircraft, but scientists say there will never be a plane that's blast proof. You simply can't make a tank that can fly. Gene Meserve, CNN, Albuquerque, New Mexico.